You fool! What have you done? Disappoint me, Spartan. <clears throat> What's up, people? It's your boy, Home P here. Here to bring you his review for um, God of War Ascension's Gemmo. Gemmo. <laughs> Demo, sorry. As you guys sit here and watch uh, my combat only gameplay that I chopped up just to show all the combat of the uh, the game, um, you know, giving my you know thoughts on the game and stuff like that. So let me give a little bit of history or a little info on this game. Um, of course, this is a third-person shooter, you know, developed by boys at Sony, and um, yeah, this game's supposed to come out March. Uh, when is it coming out? March. I can't believe this. March uh, 12, 2013. Um, yeah, so this will be the seventh installment, I believe, in the whole franchise. Because I know there is God of War 1, God of War 2, God of War 3, God of War Chains of Olympus, God of War Ghost of Sparta. Um, uh, so it's three God of Wars on consoles, two on portables. And there was other games too. There was one on mobile, I believe. But it's, it's supposed to be seven all together. Let's just look it up. Um, yeah, this game will feature uh, some 3D. Um, the beta, which isn't going to be made, well, I want to say public, but um, for PlayStation Plus members on January the 8th. Uh, but some of you have already gotten the beta through websites, GameStop. IGN or whatnot, or whatever you can try to get your beta from. Um, this demo uh, I got from when I I, I had bought, um, ordered, pre-ordered uh, Total Recall because I wanted to see the movie anyways, and I pre-ordered Total Recall, and it, it involved the demo. So I don't know. They should have done it for the PlayStation people right now, anyways. So I don't know what's up with that. Obviously, this game is set in Greek, and as you look at this gameplay here, look at this sea serpent octopusy. Um, this game features some um, some great uh, some great little mechanics. Um, it's been you know been revamped stuff like that, and um, it's has of course mini games and puzzles and stuff like that. The demo really is under I'll say under 15 minutes. It's not 15 minutes, but it's under 15 minutes. I'm pretty uh, impressed with the demo. The game plays a little fast. It's ruthless. Kratos is badass as ever still. Um, I'm liking some of the moves that he does. You know, these little goatlings here that you see me bashing with my new chain. I love that little grapple chain. Uh, Scorpion-like, come here, get over here uh, type uh, feel to get these goatlings. I call this thing the goatlings. And, you know, if you know goatlings, you know, they were in Devil May Cry 2, which sucked, by the way. But anyway, I ain't talking about that. Um, so yeah, some some, some the, it it's quick time event mini games which uh, replaces some button prompts and stuff like that, and um, you know it's capable of picking up and stealing weapons now against opponents, and also he's allowed he's, uh, he can throw the weapons and stuff like that. He can do simultaneous attacks, uh, the ability to create shot waves. I mean, a lot of things he can do. Um, in this game, but this is just a demo. So once the full game comes out, you know you will get to experience what uh, a true God of War game should be. I mean, of course, you know it's the same mechanic still. Nothing's changed. He's he's, he's mad. Um, this is before the first one because we all know, uh, as you see, my first in the one minute clip where you know he killed himself and he wasn't there at the end. So I don't know where they're going with this, but I guarantee you. 
I don't know. It's gonna be a God of War four when the PlayStation four comes out. I I, I know it is. I mean, what is Son Monica gonna do? Unless I'm hearing that they're doing another IP somewhat. But um, but what's new to the franchise for the very first time is the uh, the multiplayer feature. Um, yes, this game has multiplayer. A lot of fans were bashing and backlash and saying, no, you can't do this. God of War has always been a single player only game, and there's no need to do it. Well. If you have the beta, and you download the beta, there are quite a few of you that say this is addictive. And I put up some gameplay uh, on my channel here, so you can check that out if you want to. Of course, I sucked because that was my first time. It was a little different because, you know, you weren't Kratos in this one. You're a bunch of warriors, I believe. But this beta is nice. I mean, you know, usually beta is supposed to be clunky and all that stuff. Of course, there were little bugs here and there. I got kicked out of the room and stuff like that. But, I mean, that beta is hot. I mean, you know, I'll play this demo of this game at least 10 times already because they just need to. I'm excited for this game. I cannot wait. If they release a demo to the public, I'm hoping, you know, it's more additions or extra stuff that um, that wasn't shown at E3 or whatever. So, um, but yeah, uh, this multiplayer, you know, is has been involved. And if you play it, it has... Um, uh, elements from the gods uh, like Hades, Ares, Zeus, Poseidon. Each god offers a unique combat uh, play style and abilities in battle. Players will unlock like magic, build these new upgraded armor, weapons, and all this other stuff. And it has a small story element to the game. So, um, all the moves in this game has been retained from the all past. They're still returning to the flavor. He's still in ancient Greece. You still have enemies that come at you, and he's still pissed off like I said earlier about what he got to do um, as far as the story goes um, it's, I, I mean as far as the story goes it says before he was made a god he was man so apparently if this is the first one before the first one I'm assuming that Ares will play some well Ares will be in this in this game I don't know who the the final boss would be and I thought I heard a rumor that this was co-op or he's gonna be with his brother or something like that I don't know that's true or not y'all let me know about that I was just listening to you know a bunch of news feeds here and there that it might feature co-op or you know up to this day I don't think that's true or it might feature like you play as Kratos and then you play as somebody else in the game so that I'm not too sure about as we come up on uh, the ending of this uh, review here the game is pretty good. I give this review. I mean, I give the review. I give this game, this demo, 8.5. Trust me, I give it an 8.5. It's pretty good. Um, they retain some of the new stuff. They added a few different things here and there. I don't know what else they can possibly do with it. I mean, he's still gonna be brooding and ripping brains out and yanking elephants and stuff like what he's doing here right now, and just you know, getting his tusk and all that. So he's bloody. He's mad. He has magic. Some of the magic is great. You know, it's very seamless. The combat is fast. You know, so I don't know what what else you know to say that you know, but I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was just about to close in about thirty some seconds, and I'm gonna shut the hells up and uh, you know let you guys watch the uh, rest of it. All right.